The J-31 gave its first public demonstration at China's largest air show on Tuesday, November 11. Manufactured by a Xinyang Arik subsidiary, the fighter is a test of the country's ability to deliver cutting-edge defense technology. China's newly unveiled J-31 stealth fighter has received bad reviews at home and abroad, after making its first public demonstration flight during the biennial Zhuhai IE show in the southern province of Guangdong. The criticism of J-31, China's second fifth-generation fighter jet, mainly stems from the dark exhaust emitting from the jet's engine, which indicates the engine's poor efficiency in burning fuel. There are two types of engines used on the J-31 jets, the Road 93 used by Russia's MiG-29 fighters will be fitted to those intended for foreign clients, while the ones deployed by the People's Liberation Army will have the WS-13 engine developed from the Road 93. It is unclear which type of engine the J-31 on display in Zhuhai used. Meanwhile, Chinese PLAA Navy Rear Admiral Zhang Zhezong said, in a speech in Xiamen on November 17, that China's reverse engineering still has its limitations, and that it will take the country another few years to achieve a breakthrough in developing its own engines. Zhang said the development of a jet engine involves mechanics and digital control, and the former is far more easy to master than the latter. This part is too difficult, and not something that can be achieved successfully in a short time, he said. Zhang also believes that the J-31 jet is too heavy. Meanwhile, deal group analyst, Richard Abulafia, said prospects for the J-31 jet's export market are not as positive as many have described. Abulafia said countries buying Chinese military hardware are mainly poor, with Pakistan the largest customer, and China may have to find new clients for the higher-end fifth-generation fighters. These new clients are most likely China's neighbors, but these countries will have their about Beijing given the tensions existing between them, Abulafia added. Moreover, the fifth-generation jets may have already come too late, since the United States Air Force and Navy have both begun plans to develop their next-generation fighters to replace the F-22 and F-18, respectively. Still largely shrouded in secrecy, the production of the fighter could add heft to China's sea and air expansion in the region and its pushback against decades of the United States' economic and military dominance.